Hello everyone, so this video is just um, had Arshe, hopefully I'm not uh, making a mess of your name here, Arshe asked me to basically look over his work because he was having a problem with how his height poly was baking out. So I'm going to show you how I would normally bake out my high polys to low polys uh, in this video and go over Arshe's problem and fix it in this video. So I've just opened up your um, file inside of uh, Maya and I'm just going to open the output. And now we have your low poly here, which is a plane which is great, but you've got this cage. Um, personally, I never really use a cage. If you've got a plane, it's not really needed. So I'm going to actually delete that. And then what I'm going to do is grab your um, low poly and what you want to do is bring it up so it's just pretty much on top of this and you can also come to side view just to make sure that's showing depending on what software you're using Max or Maya um, I mean this is this is fine and then uh, I'm just gonna quickly hide that because I just want to mention about your um, planks that you have here like I see you got your angle and that's cool but with these edges I can see in ZBrush what you've done is uh, actually chipped away some of the wood but this part these parts here are still pretty sharp um, you might not get a nice bake from them we'll see obviously when I bake it in substance um, but I recommend maybe getting a bigger bevel on these corners and then have these bigger chips for sure uh, but again like I said we'll see what it looks like because I'm looking up here we probably be okay with just that but I always recommend at least a bit more of a bevel uh, just a little bit like, it doesn't have to be exaggerated too much um, so what I'm going to do now is, sorry about that, come over here and I'm going to unhide this and uh, I'm going to export this back out. Now we got it here, I'm just going to export it out into the low poly and I'm just going to replace yours because I probably won't be sending this back anyway, um, you should be able to see what to do. And I'm going to keep the high poly as it is. Um, I'm going to minimize this for now. And I'm going to come over to Substance and create my new Substance Grab. I'm just going to create an empty one for now. And I'm just going to call this, I'll just call it your name. And now I'm going to come over to here and then we're going to link in our 3D mesh. And uh, yeah, so what we want to do is then bring in your high poly and low poly and I'm going to click open I'm just going to wait for a few seconds and then it come in and you can drag in your high poly in here to make sure that it fits okay but I know that it's probably going to be okay and I'm going to right click on your low poly and go bake model now we're going to have all these settings and I'm going to find a location to put this so I'm going to come to my desktop type in A and then come to your thing and then I'm just gonna call this bakes, uh, select folder, and that'll be put there. I left it as PNG. I'm gonna leave it as 1024 because you know, it'll take longer if I uh, did it more higher. And then we wanna make sure that the high poly is your high poly that you got in this folder. And then that tick that and then tick these. I'm gonna bake the normal map from mesh, your AO, curvature, World space normals, uh, curvature map from the mesh, height map from mesh, color map. Uh, I'm going to deselect your color map. Uh, deselect this. Um, world space normals. And then we're good to go. So, I want to make sure that this is direct X. This stuff is A OK. All right. And one of the things over here. Is you have a frontal distance and a rear distance. Now, I'm not sure if this is right, 
but it hopefully is. So imagine your plane is here, um, and then I'm just gonna grab my pen now. And then here we have your planks going along here. So the front tour will be, if your normal is facing that way, your front all should be there and then your back should be there. Rubbish uh, diagram, but hopefully that explains what that does. So with your rear distant, so we're gonna come back to this. Like you can add this where you had it before. And if your rear distance is quite big, it still pick up these, um, but we're gonna leave it as, as I care. We're gonna leave that as one that I have it on. And we're just gonna leave the final distance as it is two. I have some sampling on as two as well. And I also have my diffusion going on here. All right, so I'm gonna click, I'm gonna pause the video and click okay to bake. And then we'll talk after. Okay, so everything's baked. I'm gonna quickly look at the height first because that was the main thing that you said you had a problem with. Okay, so I can kind of see we have the same thing going on here. Let's bring it over here. And obviously we're not gonna really see much, so we're gonna bring in the normal as well. And I normally like to, I'm gonna bring in this here. And then just check the curvatures, differences. I'd probably like to use this one a bit more, just as a base quickly. So you can kind of see your detail has baked out. Um, right, so after talking to you on Discord, I can see that you won't get in the uh, same results <laughs> as I got. So, and what I was saying earlier about the bevels on the, um, Edges, you should make them bigger. I mean, looking at this, I think it's actually probably fine. Um, you can see what we got here. If I bring this in here, actually, and get a blend. I'm just gonna blend this with a 127 gray scale. Because I just wanna tone down this curvature because it's a bit too strong. Obviously we want this the same resolution as well. So to bring that sharpness back. And then I'm just gonna turn this down to like 0.25. And there you go. You can see the details there. You got your wood grain. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks. And in regards to what I have is my material results. So if I get a different edit, to my tessellation factors just on four because I'm using the hyper red uh, plane and I just have scale of 1.5. I think as a default it's like 0 0.05, uh, 0 0.5, I think it is. So, uh, yeah, I tend to just turn that up a bit, not by that much though. So, yeah, I hope that helped you.